So last time we created this list here. Now what we need to do is allow the user to mark this task as done or undone simply by clicking the checkbox. Now this is going to be difficult because we don't have a submit button. So how are we going to say when the user clicks this button, submit the form automatically? Well, we're going to use JavaScript here. We're not going to be using jQuery because there is no reason for us to go through the hassle of installing that for such a small task when we can just as easily use regular JavaScript. So we do this with the onClick event. So when a user clicks this checkbox, then execute whatever is inside these quotes. So if we say alert, refresh, click, there we go, we get an alert. So what we're going to say is this dot form dot submit. So it's going to submit the form encasing this input field. So let's refresh and check this out. Perfect. Now what we need to do is add the root. So let's go to our roots file. We're going to say root host array users home controller at post index. And we're also going to apply the cross site request forgery filter, just like we did here. So we can close this now and we need to create this method public function post index. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to say item equals input get item. Actually, ID, yep, it's ID id equals input get id and we're just going to echo out this id to make sure everything is working so let's refresh submit perfect we get the id of one we're going to hit this and we get a blank page so what's going on here well this is default behavior with my browser it doesn't pass this to php because it's already unchecked so we also need to add a hidden input field input type equals hidden and we're just going to copy this and take this and just do this clean it up so now if we try this again hit this id1 perfect id2 awesome so now we need to actually mark this as done so we're going to say item equals item find or fail ID. So this is our model here. This item class is the model that we created last time. We're accessing the find or fail method, which is a which is a method provided by Eloquent. And we're passing in the ID that we just retrieved from the input. So now what we need to do is add some sort of way to mark this as done. So we're going to add a method in here. We're going to say public function mark. We're going to say done equals this done false true. So what this is saying is if this done is done, then mark it as false. If it isn't done, then we mark it as true. So we've got that stored in a variable. Now we need to update it in the database. So this done equals done and this save and we can actually shorten this down by saying this here and we can delete this and clean it up so we're going to say item done sorry what was it item mark and then we're going to read that redirect to the home page so let's test this out let's go back here mark perfect perfect now there is actually an issue here. For example, if we have two users here and a login logs in as their user, but there is an item for another user, then a user can easily just inspect element and change the ID of this here. So we need to fix that. We need to add a conditional here to say, if this item belongs to the current logged in user, then mark it. So we're going to say here, 
if item equal oops if item owner id equals user id then mark it and we need to define user id now so user id equals auth user id so let's just make sure that we didn't break anything perfect everything still works fine